Hello and welcome to MDIL. A healthy dating relationship leaves out abuse. What is abuse? How do you recognize it? How do you cope? We find out with counselor and co-founder at Inner Sight, Ajanta Day. I think uh, abuse again is a, it's, it's a really large word but I think there's different kinds of abuse. There's you know verbal, psychological, sexual, physical. I think uh, there is a sense of shame associated with abuse especially for the person who is being abused and you don't want anyone else to see your uh, you know degradation or the way you are being treated and I think there is a tendency to isolate and say I don't want to be around people I don't want to hang out with the same friends I don't want anyone asking me questions if you see yourself isolating from the usual group or the usual people family friends uh, other than you know your boyfriend or girlfriend I think that's one sign to see that you know I could be in an abusive relationship because I just don't want anyone else uh, to sort of see what I'm going through if you see yourself more often than not uh, defending the person whether it's with family with friends with colleagues with whoever else saying that no you you guys are judging him or her wrong so these are signs you could watch out for maybe you are in a relationship where there is some level of abuse involved when every time you are with the person you feel very lowly about yourself every time you can you know it's, it's like a pattern that you start seeing that you know you're fine when you go into work but in the evening when you may meet this person something or the other pulls you down and makes you feel very poorly about yourself these are signs to watch out for and uh, coping again uh, the first step to any coping thing would be uh, awareness I would say to say that okay I am in this is there something that we can do about it is it something I can talk to my partner about and I think uh, to be stuck in a pattern like that sometimes even though I'm talking to you Lakshmi about breaking it's not easy there are people there are women there are men who are stuck in relationships like that for years marriages like that for years where there is some level of abuse involved and just that the pattern becomes so familiar you just don't know how to break out of it at some point so it can get very difficult so understanding what one is feeling and yes. awareness of the problem is yeah. the very first step then yes to I think acknowledging it just saying that okay so this is what's happening with me because unless and until you are aware of it in any case you can't communicate it to anyone else look around and see what what are your support systems uh, most of us have uh, by the time we are an adult we already have a support system whether it's a family member whether it is more than one family member whether it is uh, friends colleagues you know there are there is a support system and if you reach out, there is always help at hand. So, Great. Thank you for joining us on Emily. And thank you too.